the tunnel in Mobile, Alabama. And, uh, you know, I, I remember going through a tunnel in Houston, but I do not remember this one. Or maybe this is the one that I thought was in Houston. Anyway, in and out. I had the GoPro set up and, you know, of course the battery died. So, moments like that, you just have to be able to reach for another camera. Why does every downtown have Texas Street? San Diego, we have one too. Yeah, I guess I kind of remember going into that one. But anyway, here we are. Here we go. Hey, our bears are lady here. I just passed, I'm in Louisiana. I just passed a fifth wheeler that was pulled over on the side of the road. They had lost their trailer that was towing their golf cart. And so their golf cart was probably about, I don't know, 200 feet away from the RV. And the, and it landed up right, interesting, or maybe they righted it, I can't tell. But um, the trailer was um, like in the number one lane. So I think that they must have not had the cart on very tight. And maybe that blew over and took the, uh, trailer with it. I don't know. Very interesting. Things you see. Okay, I gotta go. 10 still, about 200 miles from the border. And, usual, oh my gosh, just snap. where the tornado went through. Oh my god. See, like, all these trees over here, they were all knocked down. If I could go back, I would. Just to show you. Very scary. Buildings ripped off. Uh, tops ripped off to that place. It's like at the 209 mile marker on Highway 10. This is... Okay, I don't know where I am. Lake Charles? Someplace. It's like the last town before you get to um, Texas. going way up on this bridge. Fifteen feet, five inches. It seems to me I've seen some fifth wheelers that would not be able to go over this bridge. Oh, maybe not. Maybe they're not as tall as a semi-truck and a semi-truck just went by or went through. 